What is up, YouTube? My name is LK. And my name is Enigma Red. And welcome back to another Server Miner plugin review. Today's plugin is known as the Admin Panel by a user named Lionheart98. What does this plugin do, mate? So basically, it allows you to take control of your server like you've never done before. You can look inside players' inventories and all kinds of stuff. We'll check it out as we go. All right, man, let's do it. All right, guys, so to start off, basically, you have the slash AP command. That's all you're going to need. It basically brings up an entire menu of things that you can do to your peasants on the server, otherwise known as the players below you because you are the master. Now, <laughs> the first option is kick a player. What I'm gonna do is simply click, kick a player, click on Enigma's name, click on a reason, no reason whatsoever, and there he goes. He is completely still there. Okay, so as you can clearly tell, it's important to note that the commands do not work on opt players. Let's try this again. Slash AP kick a player, Enigma red. No reason. Boom, he's gone. Ah, okay. No. <laughs> that worked perfectly. It worked great. On to the Jerk. next command. Okay, so the next commands on the list are ban a player. We all know what that does. Same concept as kick a player. You click on the player name and basically it'll ban them forever. Oh, temporary or permanent ban, of course. Uh, that's important, I suppose, because you don't want to permanently ban anybody now, do you? Of course you do. Okay, the next one, teleport a player. <laughs> now, <laughs> the way this no works... With all stuff. <laughs> the way this works is pretty cool. Now, now you can either teleport yourself to a player or teleport a player to you. Now I'm gonna teleport Enigma to me against his will because that's I just- I was in the middle of building something. Uh, listen to me, you were right there. You were right there. I'll move on to the next one. Uh, there's mute a player, which is mute and unmute a player. These options are pretty important because we do not want to shut someone up permanently. Or do you? You know, sometimes you kind of do want, anyway, whatever. The options are there. Same concept, you click on a player name and you click on an option or a reason as to why you're muting or unmuting, blah, blah, blah. Same thing. And lastly, we have freeze a player. Freeze a player is pretty risky to be completely honest because there's a freeze option, but there is no unfreeze option. As far as I can tell, there is no way to unfreeze someone and it's pretty darn funny. But you click on freeze, <laughs> you click on a player name and there you go. It'll freeze them up and they won't be able to move or fly or jump or do anything at will. It's kind of important to note also that there is no information in the config file as to how to get around that. So use it at your own risk. Use it if you only and completely and utterly hate the person that you're using it on. Despise their existence and hate their complete guts. Then goodness, man, press that button! <laughs> Okay, so basically we're here at the world options and it is nighttime now, so I'm gonna attempt to make it sunrise. And the sunrise is coming up, as you can see. Now, this is actually a little bit more complex than it seems because there's more, if we go in here, you see that there's actually change time, change weather so you can make it rain, but nobody likes to rain. Um, <laughs> and you can actually change the player's time. So one player can be daytime, the other one could be nighttime. Now, how that works with sleeping and all that, that gets a little confusing. And if I change it, to nighttime now for Hawk Aim. He's actually at nighttime, even though I'm at sunrise. Now, the server itself is actually at sunrise, but he's seeing nighttime. I'm sure there's some uses for this, but I'm not really sure, so yeah. The next thing that you could do is actually change game mode for players. Now, this one here basically allows you to change the server to survival, creative. Now, this will affect everyone on the server, I believe. So that's just a little extra there. Now, the next thing that you can do is there's a ghost mode, which is pretty cool. You can actually put yourself in ghost mode. So now, I. I should be invisible. How can you show? Can you see me, Mr. Hawking, sir? I don't know where you are, sir. Hold on. Uh, hold on. I'll teleport to you right now. Uh, 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 yeah, no, you're completely invisible. I don't see where you are. So you can see me in the tab list and he can't actually see me, so I'm invisible. Okay, so the next thing that you could do is you can actually open the broadcast menu, in which case it'll say server restart. This is moderator recruitment, basically notifies about recruitment that you're gonna be doing, however you structure your server. Plugin announcement basically, you know, notifies everybody about the admin panel. And that's pretty simple. As you can see, it says our server is running the administration panel by script lionheart98. Oh, all right, so that's the next thing is a little bit sneaky. So we're gonna go to Hawk Game and we're gonna see what kind of stuff he's got going on here. Uh, you know, like if you have a dispute maybe on your server, someone's stealing items and you can't find it in any chest, maybe you could check in his ender chest and see maybe if he stole that beacon or something from somebody. And then you can also kick him specifically from this point. You can check his IP address, which we will blur out for security purposes. We don't want anyone chasing him down. You can change his fly mode to false, XP level, food, and his health. You can check out everything 
right here from the panel. So the next one up is actually Commander, and this one gives a player a stick. So yeah, on to the next one. So the next one is item sender. So this one here, you have cobblestone in here that you can give a player and you can choose the amounts from one up to 64. And which player you wanna give it to? I'm give it to Hawking because he ain't work jack. Anyway, now this last one here seems a little weird that it's even here in the first place, but it's actually the crafting table. Should you in your administrative purposes need to craft on the fly, literally in the middle of the sky, you can go ahead and do that. Craft right there and that's pretty much the plugin all right everyone now this plugin may seem a little bit on the dry side but remember when you're an admin on a server with a bunch of hooligans that may ruin stuff you got to keep them in line you know you got to check up see what's going on it can be kind of painful being an admin sometimes yeah basically guys these are just some shortcuts for the admins to keep things in line now if you guys enjoyed please be sure to leave a like comment and subscribe and would you care to the people how exactly they can install this plugin on their server main yeah go to the server minor control panel look for files on the left hand side bucket plugins and then you're gonna look for the text field, type in administration panel. When the page pops up, you click install, restart your server, and then you're good to go. Yes, guys, it is that easy, and we will see you guys in the next Everminer plugin review. Peace out, dudes. Later.